Monday School is a chance for Wally to share what he learned at church and prove that he went. So in all of our lives, there's always a something next. In sports, you have the next game. At work, it's the next promotion. In our personal lives, we have tons of next, like getting married, buying a house, having kids. What about faith, though? What What's a faith next? And that's kind of what we looked at. We looked at the book of Nehemiah. Not one that you hear a lot about, actually. Lesser known book. Nehemiah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther, Joe, whatever. I'm not <laughs> um, uh, See, in biblical times, the city walls provided protection and they defined the city. That's a big deal. Uh, and the walls of Jericho, Jerusalem sorry, sorry, were gone. And when Nehemiah heard this, he wept and he prayed to God and he confessed not only his sins before God, but for all of Israel as well. He took everybody's problem. He's like, okay, God, we're all a mess. Oh, he I threw so everyone sorry. under the bus. He did. And he was like, <laughs> let's let's get this worked out here. Uh, but he knew the word of God and he actually, in his prayer, claimed a promise that God had made to the Israelites earlier. Are we claiming the promises of God? Well, to do this, you first have to know them, which means you've got to spend time studying the Word of God and have a relationship with Him. And then you have to trust that His Word is true. So what can we learn from Nehemiah? Pray first. Because so many times we look to solve the problem first, and we use prayer as a last resort. Mm -hmm. There are nine prayers in the book of Nehemiah, and he prayed constantly and sought God. Uh, Two, prepare spiritually and logistically. Like, yes, definitely pray, but you also have to be prepared for what God's moving you to Mm -hmm. instead of just sitting around idle doing nothing, you Mm know? Uh, The pastor used an example of someone asked him to pray for them to get a new job, and he's like, I can totally do that. Uh, But did you post your resume on Indeed? You know? Like, we have to take a bit of responsibility and kind of put the work behind it. Absolutely. And then finally... Act on what God gives you. Don't be afraid to follow God into the unknown. He calls us to take the next steps in our spiritual journey. And it could be something big, could be something small, but God calls us to action. And a lot of times I know we get concerned about the outcomes, but God is far more concerned with our obedience. You know, like 1 Samuel 15, 22 uh, says, to obey is better than sacrifice. He wants us to be obedient and step out in faith, and he's going to take care of the rest. There's that old saying, the devil is in the details, but actually as believers, God is the one who's really in all the details, Mm -hmm. and we need to learn to trust that. So there you go. That's your Monday School for today.